From New York City to North Dakota, one man is bringing his talents and skills to mu the music world there in our state. That's right. New this morning, Nikki Johnson spoke to the musician who's hitting a positive note on the pandemic scale. Good morning, Nikki. Good morning, Josh and Alicia. Well, the pandemic has certainly brought many things, and recently it's brought bright city lights in the form of Jason Thumbs. For the last 13 years, Jason Thomes has been living in New York City. He had just finished up a job at Concordia College in New York early this year when the pandemic hit. And all of the professional singing, professional conducting side things that I did in New York were all shut down. That meant no work for thousands, including Jason. So the search for a new job began. Bismarck State College was one place looking for a director, and I applied, and I thought, well, if I were to move to North Dakota, I probably could still make some music. And that's what's happened. Since he moved here in August, he caught the attention of the music director of the Bismarck Mandan Symphony Orchestra, who heard about him from friends. Even prior to his coming to Bismarck, they had written to me about him and just how amazing he is, amazing person, amazing musician, and encouraging me to meet up with him when he got to Bismarck. Jason says it's his New York state of mind that's keeping him going. So he gathered some local musicians and put a group together. Eight singers, but everybody is a music teacher or a music major and they just are singing doing a beautiful job. But during COVID he says the art of choral music almost stopped because of the danger of being a super spreader. I thought by starting a radio show with Prairie Public Radio that focuses on North Dakota choirs. So one of my dreams is to be able to go out to some of the the class B size schools and go out and record their choirs and put their, their singing on the radio. His experience has led him many places from singing at Carnegie Hall in New York to being nominated for a Grammy this year and more recently producing the Messiah with a choir team virtually from Connecticut. All of this while advocating for mental health. Jason says his wife died by suicide in January. Everyone's experienced 2020 in a different way, you know. I know a lot of folks who've lost people this year uh, to, to COVID or to a variety of other things, and it's just something that kind of happens. But one of the things that he's worked hard at is being a part of a community that talks about mental health. We've been very honest and open from the very beginning of my wife's issues with mental illness. Yeah, it's not easy but it's definitely something that's not supposed to be hidden. And despite losing his wife, he's pushing forward with a positive attitude, inspiring many along the way. Knowing his story and the loss of his wife and the just the magnitude of that loss on top of seeing how much he's giving to others is just extra inspirational. And I, I also really respect his openness about that. For Jason, music is not only life, but it's sprinkled with community, excellence, and service to others. Not only does Jason have many performances coming up with all the choirs he's involved in, but Beverly told me he's all, she's also part of a Facebook group, non-music related, where Jason encourages people to take 10,000 steps every day. And Josh and Alicia, I'm feeling super motivated after hearing his story. What about yeah. you guys? Oh my gosh, yeah. absolutely. Like I said, you teased that story so well and I wanted to know more. And what a remarkable story. Yes. Yeah, and I like how he was saying when he was considering the job in North Dakota, he was like, well, I think I can still make music in North exactly. Dakota. Yes, and yeah. he's definitely he doing that. Of course, can make music in North Dakota. <laughs> yeah, Please come right. here. It's great. Love yeah. It. yeah. Thank, Thank you, so you Nikki. Much. You